Martin, it was a fantastic result at the weekend and a perfect start to the campaign, but you were very quick to point out one swallow does not make a summer. So how are you feeling about it now? No, normally you're building a team, you know, you know, uh, in other clubs and we had the same last year, you have the same players, so you know what to expect and the only thing you want to do is improve. But of course we lost uh, so many players, you know, up front, if you, if you see the striker situation, if you see the situation in central midfield. So you almost don't know what to expect before the game, where the goal's coming from. Petric is a new player, or the is there. Bayern Ruiz plays a bit in a different role, you know, because Clint is not there. So, but in hindsight, you could say that they did exactly what you expect from him, and that is score goals at the right moment. Bayern Ruiz, I thought, was a, had a marvelous game, and even Kaka, who came in for Clint on the left, or, although Clint is probably not a, a, a wing player, but he was all. Uh, always important to us, you know, and Kaka filled in his uh, his role and he did it uh, in a very good uh, manner. And um, Mladen Petric getting on the score sheet so early on in the season, that's going to do nothing but give him confidence in this league, because it's a difficult league to integrate into. No, that is true and I was very happy, you know, because it's always nice if people say it's a good signing and uh, I agree. But we had the same with Pock last year, you know, mm. we were very happy and lucky that he came in and scored his goals. But hopefully he can continue to do that, and that is what I mean with uh, one swallow who doesn't make a summer, you know. So hopefully he can do it at uh, difficult places, away from home, and score winners, what we did last year, you know, with uh, Arsenal, for example, with Liverpool, we did that, with Chelsea. We had two very good draws, you know, and uh, but then Clint was most of the time was involved, so hopefully they got the same eagerness and ambition as uh, Clint Dempsey had, uh, because of, of course he's not, he's not in the squad uh, until now. Talking about Clint then, let's just have an update on that situation. I believe there still are no bids for the player and you are planning for the future without the player at the moment. No, I always said, you know, I would be very happy if he wants to talk to us again and he wants to sit down and there's no formal bit on the table, so I can't do nothing about it, you know, if you ask too much for a player or if you make it difficult for him, but that was not, never the case. Uh, he, he told us that uh, I know what he wants to happen and I, of course I know uh, he wants to go to a Champions Club, but there was no Champions Club in for him. So. Uh, it, it was a very off, uh, awkward and uh, difficult situation for us and maybe for him as well but you know the situation is as it is and I can't change it so uh, hopefully there will uh, something will happen in the next week and if not uh, I don't know what the boy wants. Let's talk about the players that are going to be featuring for you. Young Alex Kachinaklic came in did very well but another youngster that hasn't yet featured is Kerim Fry. Can we have an update on his injury? No, Kerim came in, he had a problem with an injury with his glute and uh, with his groin as well. So uh, I couldn't play him and he played and then he had a little problem. So it was a, a sort of niggling injury. So uh, he's not available, he will be back next week. And it was good to see that we've got uh, Alec Kakani Klitsch as well, because then you've got two options and especially with the Clint Dempsey situation it was good to see that we've got some youngsters coming in and do a good job, you know, because we've got some. We've got Mesca as well on the other side, he can play on the left, he can play on the right. So hopefully the future is, the future is theirs and they will be a good asset for us as well, because, you know, that is what we want and uh, hopefully they can do it away from home and uh, in the future for us. Going to Old Trafford is always difficult regardless, uh, they lost at Everton at the weekend. How difficult will it be this weekend to go and face them? Is there ever a good time? It was always close there, even last season it was close. I can remember close games, I can remember us scoring a goal uh, with my former club and uh, you know it was always tight and hopefully you know, like last year maybe you can remember with uh, in the second half. We started off okay, we didn't play well, but uh, they scored one goal out of nothing. Second half we did better, we made a few changes and then uh, I think we could have scored. And we should have scored, we should have had a penalty and they didn't, so we lost 1-0. But hopefully we can play our own game, that is the most important thing. You know, if you go there and you want to avoid uh, them uh, creating things, you know, it's not enough. I think we have to play our own game and try to play our football and create chances and if you score, one or two goals, you're always in with a chance to have a result. We wish you luck on Saturday. Okay, thank you.